Oh, Jack. All right, no wonder he fought so hard. All righty. Man, that was quick. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for coming back to KS Fishing. Uh, this is just a recap of our 2021 Cabo excursion, fishing trip, hanging out with the neighbors. You know, just wanted to share it with you guys. Starting off at Lover's Beach, took a little excursion out to uh, Lover's Cove and Lover's Beach and did some swimming around there. Realized that that area is notorious for great whites, but they won't tell you that while you're there. So day one offshore fishing, went out as a group and uh, we got into a mahi-mahi. We were hoping to get into more, but I think he was just a loner. The guys from Angela's fleet, which is our outfitter we are fishing with, they wanted to do all of the unhooking, fish handling. They insisted, even though I knew I was more than capable of handling it myself. Their boat, their rules, I'm just following along. Uh, Sarah's recording. She's the, the cameraman for this trip, or for at least this excursion. So and now we're doing some more trolling, going out, trying to get a little further offshore. Sean hooks into the best fight of his life so far, big old Bonita. And uh, we ended up getting on school of them. And I believe every one of us took one home. Uh, I think Sean actually ended up catching two. Yeah, it was a good trip. And then Sarah coming up got a surprise that we didn't find out for almost a year what it actually was. Now here is that mystery fish, a short body big eye. Then there's Sarah's Bonita. My Bonita, Sean's Bonita, although I don't know if we got his second one in the frame. There we go. There's the overall end catch. I went back out on another morning and then decided with the same crew, just a different boat, that I was determined to catch rooster fish. And these guys said, we know where they're at. We can take you to them. We'll put you on them. They told us, you know, we were expecting 40, 50, 60 pounders. But uh, you're going to have to watch and see just how big they really were. Is that a blue runner? What? Looks like a blue runner. Is the bait? Mm -hmm. What do you call those? Caballito. Looks like what we call blue runner. Just look at how beautiful that day is. Just that water's perfect. I had to show this little clip. It was too gorgeous not to. Here he's out throwing some, some shad and little caballitos, as they called them a second ago, all around the boat trying to bring them in. We're trolling just slow enough. Now we've picked up speed because nothing was biting there. They said they got another spot further down San Jose del Cabo and uh, now we're hooked up. Ooh, this one's bigger. This <laughs> one, which by this way, maybe 40 pounds. Okay. Yeah, say so this one. When you see? Now this is kind of a long reel, so I sped it up a little. Ooh, come on, come on. Oh yeah. 
Okay. So it's a long fight. It's definitely a big fish. And I keep reeling and reeling and reeling. But at this point, I'm starting to lose my breath. It's been a good fight. Now we're about to see what it really is. Come on, buddy. Oh, Jack. All right. No wonder he fought so hard. Good size, Jack. Okay. There he is. A little disappointed it wasn't a big rooster, but hey, it's still a fun fight. Not my PB for Jack Ravel's. I think my biggest one was actually at a Corpus Christi. A little bigger than that guy. Now here they mentioned that this area was actually known for having some wahoo around. So they got me bringing in my bait, bringing it in fast, trying to draw the attention of any lingering wahoos or big roosters that are hanging around. You'll just have to wait and see. Ooh, ooh, come on. Brewster, Brewster! Ha <laughs> ha! Come on! Oh, under the boat, under the boat, under the boat. Come on, come on, come on. Now, I know what you're going to say. All the right. gaff wasn't my idea. I was too excited, heat of the moment, to realize what was going on until it was too late. Whew. Heck yeah. We can't release them when they've been gaffed? I already got the gaff when they're going to keep with my next one. Okay. I'll say, I, I thought they weren't good to eat. Uh, but those ones are good meat, it's white. Okay. See, but if you want next one, uh, we can, we can uh, release. If you think they're good to eat, we can keep them. See, see, see. You want to keep that one. So I get a bite here. Yeah. Well, it, we, do you guys eat them? We're going to eat them. Okay. Yeah, then we'll keep them. And boy, was he right. That was delicious. We made an awesome ceviche out of it. Alrighty, man, that was quick. This little guy was so green and so angry. Watch him take this towel and just toss it. Boop. Right. It's up to you guys. If you want to keep him, we can keep him. Make sure. Yes, 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 please. Alrighty. Made sure to release this guy. Here's the slow mo cam. Alrighty. Bye, buddy. Yeah, that was real quick. I thought you were still letting line out. Gaffed rooster number one. Released rooster number two. Didn't get number three on camera, but there was a third one. I just didn't realize the GoPro wasn't recording. Now here we end the day at uh, Las Barillas Beach. About a two hour drive from where we stay. And you could actually swim in these waters. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment. See you later.